One of my uh, viewers who I've done a lot of work for asked me to make this part, which is a fixture plate for a hot foil press machine. I'm not very familiar with those machines. My understanding is they use heat and pressure to apply foil to plastic and then kind of melts it a little bit to the surface of the plastic so it binds really well. He wants to be able to put different punches or molds or whatever on the surface of this in different places. And so he wanted something that had a grid pattern of screws that would allow him to attach those to this plate. And so these, this is just a bunch of 832 screws. This is a fairly simple job. First thing is to rough it out along the edges. This is using a 3 8 inch diameter end mill running at 11,000 RPM. Because this is a fairly small lightweight machine with an ISO 20 taper, I can't take too heavy of a load. So I'm keeping it to about 20% uh, uh, depth of cut and 20% width of cut. After the adaptive, then I face it to give it a nice uh, smooth finish. And then a final pass around here to give a nice surface finish on the outside. I probably should have done it in the other order so I didn't have to do a tool change, but you know, with the tool changer it doesn't really matter that much. Then uh, doing a spot drill for all the holes. Drilling the holes. Uh, chamfering them so that I have a lead-in for the top, but also lead-in for the screw. Chamfering the outside with uh, about 10 thousandths of an inch to give it a nice edge break. And then this is uh, tapping all of the holes for 832. And then I mentioned uh, afterwards I do the adaptive on the back side to remove the hat and then another face to give it a nice uh, smooth finish. Here the dimension I'm picking up is not accurate but for just taking off the hat it's close enough. So here's the uh, result. You can see all of the holes are nicely tapped and chamfered. There's also a little uh, chamfer around the, the edge here just to give it a, an edge break. So I'm really happy with the surface finish and uh, how this all turned out. There are a lot of holes, so I certainly would not have wanted to tap these by hand. Having a machine that has rigid tapping makes this so much of a joy. It's fun to watch it just go in and out and tap each of the holes automatically and I don't have to do anything. I just love it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you next time.